Good morning, welcome back to my channel, welcome back to a brand new video. This is a very exciting one, it is of course my South Africa vlog. If you missed my previous two uploads, I actually did a come to the airport with me and also a birthday vlog. So my birthday vlog, which I spent my birthday out here, I, myself and Tom, we had a car, we went and explored the island, we had a really adventurous day, so if you missed that video, I will leave a link to it down below, and then equally, the come to the airport with me, sort of like the check-in of the hotel, and the travel experience, and everything like that. So this video is going to be more of highlights of our trip, of which um, we're still to do tabletop, no, table mountain, I keep calling it tabletop mountain just table mountain apparently um so we're gonna do that i am staying in a hotel room with my mum and tom is staying in an airbnb with his mum they have been going to the cricket every day so um we didn't have tickets for that we weren't going to the cricket we're just here for the sunshine and the holiday so i actually need to get cracking on my book today today is a sunbathing chill around the hotel day this is the book that I went for, The Family Upstairs. I'm only about a chapter in, really good so far. So I'm gonna get cracking on that today and just lounge around the pool, top up my tan. Uh, we also want to do, well, we've actually been here a week already. We have a week left to go, or we've been here about five days. We have about a week to go. So I've been exploring, I've kind of got my bearings. I want to go back to Camps Bay, show you there and the V&A waterfront and then obviously Table Mountain, anything else that we get up to is gonna be within this video. So sit back, relax, enjoy. I hope you are excited for this video and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Give this video a thumbs up if you like the travel videos and I hope you enjoy the rest of this video. We're on the jungle area floor in our hotel. We're just gonna head down for breakfast this morning. But actually we've had a few niggling issues. Um, it's four star, but we'd say it's more like three. Um, so it's okay, but don't expect the best. That's what I'm gonna say. I just don't, I don't wanna be honest. I don't wanna be like, oh my God, this hotel's amazing. I highly recommend. The breakfast is amazing, I will say that. See, we are on the fourth floor into the African world. I think they all have a different theme. This is our hotel lobby area. Pool out there, beach out there. What a beautiful day. Saw the city passing by my window Was in the crowd but I felt so alone Looked at my phone like every other second My future was blurry and numb A tunnel where there's no light Oh but then you came and sat right next to me Your eyes they glowed and filled me up We had never met before So it is ugh, evening time and I'm just doing a little bit of makeup. I've just washed my hair, just dried it. So I need to curl that and style that tonight. But tonight we are going for quite a chilled evening meal around Camps Bay. So I'll bring you along with me. I'm not sure where we're going. We're just gonna decide when we get there. We're gonna aim to get there around seven and Tom and his mum and also his friends from Cricket are, I think, coming with them over around seven. So we're gonna meet them there. It is now like five. Yeah, just gone five. Um, and we are just getting ready. So I thought I'd show you my little holiday makeup. I'm like halfway done, but I'll show you my makeup bag. So you can see what I bring with me on holiday. This is from the Flat Lay Company. I talk about this quite a lot, this bag. It was kindly gifted ages ago. And it's just genius. You can essentially just tighten it up but then open it out and you can see all your makeup products all lined out and you know, easy to get to. Foundation kind of thing, what I've been wearing is this Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue Tinted Hydrating Gel Cream. Really, really good. And I've had this on during the day as well sometimes because it has got SPF 30. So if I'm out and about then obviously my skin is protected. And then I have gone in with this for a little bit of cream contour. This is the Amazing Cosmetics Perfect Oh, perfection stick. I think you can get this from MS. A very well loved Hula bronzer and NARS Orgasm blush. The MAC 
Milk Highlighter in Double Gleam. But before that, I put on the Glowgasm Beauty Light Wand from uh, Charlotte Tilbury. Love using this. Bit of mascara. I've just got the Roller Lash from Benefit. I, oh, eyes. I've got the Hourglass... Um, brow pencils and then I have this Charlotte Tilbury lip gloss in Ibiza Nights but my main go-to has just been where is it this lip liner which is my all-time favorite this is the number seven precision liner in nude and then I just put on top of it the vitamin E lip conditioner lip balm from Jo Malone so that is pretty much all I'm going to be doing for my face so I will show you the end result once I'm all ready to go out for a very casual dinner tonight. Hence just a no poly bodysuit, denim shorts and a Zara top which I've got over there. Good morning, we are waking up to a beautiful sunny day here in Cape Town and it is the last day of cricket. Um, obviously we're not watching cricket, Tom and his mum are and I think we might go over to theirs for dinner tonight. But I have mentioned previously in this vlog about where we're staying. We had a couple of issues with our room, but they have very kindly sorted it out and upgraded us. Yeah, we've just moved into a new room, so I thought I'd give you a little new room tour. This is what you see. This is a one bed apartment. So we have a much more spacious living area here. And then over here we have like a kitchenette area. And then moving through here, we have a very spacious shower much bigger than the other one and sink area everything like that there's me and then this is the bedroom which they have done into twin beds for us look at this view we have of lion's head it is beautiful i mean it's such a huge view but that hopefully potentially one day <laughs> whilst we're here me and tom are thinking about hiking up there Today is going to be a pool day for myself and my mum. I really want to get through my book a little bit more. Ubers, by the way, taxis out here so easy. Ubers, I feel like they're a lot cheaper out here as well than they are in the UK. So we've just been getting Ubers here, there and everywhere. Also, is this not the ultimate holiday chocolate? Kinder and Milka, I feel, are the two holiday favourites. Which is your favourite? I love these Kinder chocolates. Look at this. I just came up to the room to do a quick power hour of work and I have this gorgeous and yummy looking platter with brownie and cheesecake I think so I might just have that for my lunch a really nice birthday card and a bottle of bubbly which was just so kind of them so thank you so much to the President Hotel <laughs> We are on the roof, mum's here. Um, look how bright it is. England won the cricket, so we are going for a drink um, along Camps Bay, and then I think Tom is cooking, I think I said that earlier, for us tonight. So we're gonna just have a chilled and go upstairs, but before we do that, we watch the sunset with a drink in hand in front of the beach. Beautiful. <laughs> So Tom is making his infamous carbonara and we've got a whole sandwich to start by the looks of it. <laughs> it's a bit of an overcast cloudy day so we've had a very chilled morning, just relaxed and um, had a lovely dinner last night at Tom's. So I think we are going to explore for a couple of hours this afternoon um, a place called, well like Cape, Cape Town downtown I think. So. Let me get this right. Bree Street, Kloof, Kloofneck, 
and somewhere else I'm not sure um we're just gonna have an explore and then we are going to um, tomorrow I think we're gonna have a bit of an adventure day myself Tom and maybe his mum are gonna get an uber to friendship maybe Stellenbosch do a bit of a wine tour hop on hop off thing but we'll see we're starting with a place called Bree Street then moving on to is it Kloof? Kloof? No? And then, oh yeah, and then Bocap is the other place. I forgot the name of it. Um, just having a nice little stretch of the legs. Mothers are back there somewhere. Oh, there. <laughs> Tom, you've got one pick of any of these cars. Which would you have? You'd get that one. 911T. No? Would you go for this one? You wouldn't be mad if you got given it? So I probably might not have that one either. I think I'd have that. Audi, this one. Well, yeah. Is it an R8? Is it an R8? Yeah, it's an R8. Yeah, but this is the date that got you a kiss when you picked me up in this. Sick date. Well worth a look and we've actually just popped into the local museum so we're gonna have a quick look around here before heading back outside. crashing down but we get up and start from the ground. just got back to my hotel pretty tired we've had a long day roaming around i wonder how many steps we've done today the kloof area at the end was very nice although we did see someone getting arrested didn't we <laughs> with armed policemen they are armed out here let's see how many steps we have done seven yeah seven thousand six hundred although in the in the heat it feels like a bit 54, more <laughs> So we ordered ourselves a pizza. Our hotel do pizzas. They've got one of the wood fire pizza ovens. So they're super quick. We've just ordered a base, which is like a plain garlic bread type one. Margarita, we're gonna take it up to the room. Chill out, comfy's on. I'm gonna have a shower and wash my hair because I'm up early tomorrow. I am going with Tom and I think his mum's coming and we're going to a place called Friendship to do the vineyards and the hop on, hop off wine tram I think. The day after that we are booked in for Table Mountain now so again another early rise the day after tomorrow so we're actually quite pleased to just have a chilled one tonight. Room service, comfy's on, shower, I'm here with Tom and his mum and we are pit stopping at River Cafe 
for a bite to eat. And then just behind us here is where we get the tram tickets. Yeah, I've got a muffin in the bag for you. So this is actually our ride. Whee! We're not getting the wine tram, we don't think now, because we didn't pre-book. <laughs> so, our unorganised tour guide, Thomas Lord. <laughs> no, we thought we thought you'd just be able to hop on, hop off, get the ticket when you get there, but no, it is in fact pre-book. There was one line available left to book, but we thought we'll get a tuk-tuk. Hence what we're in now, to be our private chauffeur for the day. So our first stop is a place called Chaminois and we're going to do a cellar tour. I think we're booked on for 10 and it's quarter to 10 currently. So this is the first stop. And then we have Troika as well. Merlot and Petit Fado on those Veratos. And it's kind of strange Don't even know your name Grape down. Three second roll. Quick, eat it. Should be really bitter. Is it? Is it? They're not that bitter. We've arrived at our second destination. I think you can see on that sign there it says Oat Cabria restaurant. So we've arrived here and we seem to have a bit of a lake. Super, super pretty. Next stop is Labrie. Last stop is, what's this one called? Do you know? Mon... Mon Richel. Mon Rochelle. And it's actually Richard Branson's. Look, can you see the other tuk-tuk for me? Oh, yeah. <laughs> We've actually um, really enjoyed going on the tuk-tuks and the fact that we didn't get tickets to the tram is definitely not a downside. You could definitely get the tuk-tuk. Similar price as well. And they take you to five of your chosen destinations. But because of timing, we spent a lot at this second one. Had lunch there and everything. So we have gone to fourth. This is the fourth and final pit stop. And there's croquet, there's boule. It's actually quite French feeling, yeah. isn't it? I'm getting it for the gram. <laughs> My gram. <laughs> the non-existent gram.
over was the last word that I heard you say before you hung up the phone. Silence. Never thought that it would go this way with you. Wanted me gone. I don't believe in no. Just last week you called me your babe. Now you're letting go. The way you're talking is driving me insane. Hello. Can we sit and talk this through for once before you cut off the show? 'Cause even if we're hanging by a thread, by a thread, and the words you said is spinning in my head, in my head, I just wanna pull you closer in this bed, in this bed. Take me back into your arms, and I'll never let you down, let you down. Stumbled into an art gallery and just over there they've got rituals candles smells amazing. What do you like? Interesting Now where would we fit that in our house? This is our morning. We're getting a cable cart from here All the way up to here. Tom is crazy because he is walking it we're getting the cable car. Tell me, can we meet up at your place tonight, honey? I'm coming over. Yeah, you know me. I would give up anything for you. You say it. You know I'll do it. Yeah. I don't believe even know. Just last week you called me your babe. And now you're letting go. The way you're talking is driving me insane. Hello, can we sit and talk this through for once before you cut off the show? Cause even if we're hanging by a thread, by a thread, and the words you said is spinning in my head, in my head, I just wanna pull you closer in this bed, in this bed. Where's your hike? Easy. Easy. You made it. Do it easier or harder than you thought? Uh, challenging. Bits of it. But we're on route down now. Would you do that? No. <laughs> no, would you? No. Come back to this one's apartment and he's escaping after his hike. But look what I've spotted outside. Not for me. No thank you. There's a few of them actually. One of them coming in to land there. We're just at a place called the 41. And it's got gorgeous like overlooking the ocean. It's a good time to come. It's about four o'clock, just gone four. So we're gonna go eat some food soon. Um, and then I'm gonna go back to the hotel. We've ordered some cocktails. I've just got Diet Coke, uh, queen of Diet Coke over here. So we've come to a place called Cod Farmer, which is a fish restaurant. Up there is a fish bar, which you actually get to pick and choose which fish you want. And it's all served on the table with like potatoes, rice, Veg, so cool concept on the beachfront pretty much and it's been recommended so it should be really good so all showered up and just had a lovely day in the sun today and just getting ready for this evening where we are going to a place called Hassar Grill and I think there are a couple of them so the one that we're going to is on Camps Bay which is closer to where Tom and his mum are staying. So, um, I thought 
we just have a nice chilled relaxed day by the pool today i've got through my book i'm now over the halfway point which obviously you know we've only got one day left <laughs> and i was hoping to be a little bit more done but we've had a few out and about days where i've not had a chance to read so <clears throat> making good progress might finish it hopefully before i get home obviously we've got a long flight so there's still hope that I'll finish it. Um, but yeah, we're going for a nice meal tonight and I thought I would just check in, let you know that we're enjoying the holiday. Caught the sun a little bit on my shoulders here yesterday from when we were up Table Mountain. Uh, one, one thing I will say about the African sun, it is different to our sun because it only is saying 23, 24 degrees um, during the days but it feels so hot and it's so intense that you have to like, I mean today I've just been in the shade all day pretty much other than bobbing in and out of the pool. So it is intense, I will say that, but obviously I'm sure it's better than the UK weather currently. I haven't checked in with the UK so I don't really know what's going on with weather. By the time this is up, obviously Love Island will have kicked in and that's based in Cape Town which is pretty cool. So they'll We'll be out here now somewhere, sunning it up in a villa. Are you watching Love Island? What are you thinking of it? Who are your faves? I don't know yet because I haven't watched any. So as soon as I get back, I'm going to play catch up. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to finish getting ready. And then I'll probably take you with me to dinner tonight and show you what we get. To show you the yummy food. I'm going to put a dress on. I might even put heels on tonight. It's the first time I've worn heels. And it's the second to last night. So I would say it's very casual here as well. And we're going to a restaurant whereby we're pretty much going to get a taxi straight to the restaurant, taxi home. So the hence when wearing heels. But I would easily be able to just go in like beach wear pretty much. It's so casual here. That is one thing I've noticed in terms of packing. I have overpacked uh, dressier outfits because oh, we just haven't needed them. So yeah. That is the update. I'll check in with you guys when we're ready for dinner. Vlogging with the mother. Hi. We're kind of a bit back. Oh, there we go. Um, so we're just heading on route. I've done a bit of a low bun, slick back look tonight. And I've put on this Opoly dress. It's not the best angle, but I'll leave it linked because it is a gorgeous material. I love it. And it's in a really nice like champagne gold kind of colour. And um, L'Oreal, because you're worth it that hair flick though. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't realise the camera was on me. <laughs> I will start at the bottom of the border here. These are our fillet cuts. Very lean, very tender. Bales is on the vlog. What would you like to say? I'd just like to say Happy New Year to all your followers and I uh, hope we'll see more of Tom Lord in 2020. <laughs> What's been your highlight of South Africa trip? Um, the sunshine, the cricket, obviously, I love the cricket. Um, seeing Tom as well and the good self. Uh, yeah, it's fantastic. Hopefully, he's going to turn his cat around. Um, Any single ladies, Bales is uh, 33 <laughs> and a doctor of, uh, what psychology. Do you know, doctor yeah. of psychology at yeah. Warwick University. Yeah. Yeah. Just bought a new car and a new house, so, yeah. so there you go. To, to the next step. Next step. It is the final full day today. So myself and my mum, we're going to go for a bit of an explore around the V&A, which we have already been to, uh, but I didn't vlog, so I thought I'd bring you guys with me too. There were some sea lions there. Is that the Uber? Two minutes away, perfect. with their H&M home. We need more H&M homes like this in the UK. Can't believe we don't have one in Manchester yet. Uh, I think there is one in Liverpool, but I have never been to it. They just have so much bedding, which is amazing. Really nice like canvas materials and linens. 149 Rand is probably about seven pounds. So not too bad.
Our process is very simple and efficient. The adults are complete. So you can adopt these. This one's pending adoption. Which is your favourite? He's already adopted. Pending adoption. Aww. Which is your favourite? Which is your favourite? there we have it that is my south africa vlog i'm gonna go ahead and end it here because we are just gonna be chilling for the rest of the day sorting our stuff together and then flying back tomorrow so i hope you enjoyed this little south africa adventure if you did miss my birthday vlog where i did a whole day's vlog out and about here in south africa then be sure to check that out give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it i hope to see you all in my next video do give me ideas pop them in the comments down below of what you would like to see throughout 2020 thank you so much for watching and i will see you guys very soon bye guys